Hi, today we're going to talk about glycol systems for your fermenters. Uh, this is uh, the glycol system we use. It's actually a line chiller that we get from Fox Equipment. This is their largest one. It's a three-quarter horsepower. It costs about $1,800. And it is enough to uh, chill two of our seven-barrel fermenters. So here's how it works. Uh, I took some of the insulation off so you can follow the path. But I'm going to go in here and uh, you can see that there's a continuous pump going on uh, it's pumping glycol in one side and then pumping and then it comes back the other so we care we where it comes out of the pump we follow it along here I have a couple shutoff valves in case I ever have to do any work and then let me go around here it's going to come out to uh, out to here and I'm going to step on top of these fermenters and hopefully not kill myself so we get a better look. So, when it first comes out, this is actually not necessary. It's a blow-off. What is necessary is that you go to a pressure reducer because jackets on fermenters can't stand over 15 PSI of pressure. So you need to have a pressure reducer. Then you need to have a, a pressure gauge. This is just kind of a bleed valve, but it's not necessary either. Uh, so from there, it comes out. I like to set the pressure at, uh, at about 13 PSI to start. And then I continue, and it makes a loop You know, before it returns. So the first thing that happens on the loop is I have, um, I have two pipes coming off where the glycol can go to the two fermenters. Then it continues on and it comes back and then in between where it goes into the two fermenters and where it comes back from the fermenters, which are these, there's another valve that continues along. This valve, I actually start turning it until I see that 13 PSI go up to 15 PSI, which causes the restriction. Then uh, then it can continue, and this is, this is where the, the uh, glycol comes back from the fermenter. So over here is where it goes to the bottom of the, the fermenter in the jacket, and then over here is where it comes back before it continues on back all the way into the, uh, into the room where the glycol chiller is. The reason for this restriction is that when the solenoid valve pops on, uh, then this is now the path of least resistance is through the glycol jacket rather than the line because we have a little restriction here. Um, if you have any questions, email me and I can send you a diagram. Uh, let me show you how we control the temperature now. Okay, so down here, um, these are our two fermenters. They're actually white wine Latina tanks, which work great and are inexpensive. And you can see, uh, here's the tank and then here's the jacket. It's uninsulated, but it still holds temperature really well. For example, this one over here, you can see some condensation, um, but it's a finished beer that is just basically conditioning in that tank, and it is holding at about 38 degrees. And these are our two, uh, two controllers. They're just Johnson controllers. Each controller has uh, two things that come out of it. Uh, one is a small power source, that is wired directly to the solenoid valve which is attached to the fermenter. The other is a, is a temperature probe that goes to the fermenter. So that what you can do is, like you can see this one, this is beer that's fermenting right now. So if I wanted to adjust it, I'll click it to the set point, which I have at 70 degrees. So that if the temperature during fermentation goes up to 70 or 71, then it clicks on the solenoid valve and allows glycol to go through, which is what's happening here. That's why you see a light. So if I wanted to chill this, I would push it like this, and let's say I go to 65, 60, and then click it again. Now you can see it just turned on, calling for chilling. But I'm fermenting. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to put it back to 70. Let's see. I think the set point I've got to go a little higher. There, and then it goes off again. Uh, and that controls, because as you know, when a beer is fermenting, um, it's creating its own heat. Um, so, that's our system. I, I hope that...
kind of makes sense. 